So my name is Vivian Ross-Smith and I currently have an exhibition on at Bon Hoga called Island Connections. Um, the kind of thinking behind this exhibition is a conversation between two networks of islands. So I'm from Shetland and grew up in Fair Isle, but this past year I went to Finland to um, go on residency there. And I worked in a small studio on an island called Korpo, which is on the southwest coast of Finland. And I was getting interested in island mentality and how islanders have maybe a specific way of thinking, but also a specific connection to the land. So I started thinking about that in maybe traditional senses of how we use the land, how we um, get life from it, how we build on it, um, and how in a modern sense we're having to live in maybe a technological world that we have to adapt our way of thinking to suit a more traditional sense of being. The main piece that kind of started off this way of thinking was when I cast two small bronze nets. Um, I made nets out of rope and cast them in bronze. Um, the thinking was that I would take one of these nets to Fair Isle and put it in the North Sea and let the water patina the metal and change it naturally. Um, I then took the second net to Corpo and put it in the Baltic Sea there. And I wanted to see the difference so there was a real you know, a noticeable difference between these two landscapes, the North Sea being very high in salt content and the Baltic Sea being very mild and low in salt content. So looking at the two pieces, they have a very stark difference. And that is the kind of piece that explains this show well. There's an island mentality and there's things that connect islanders and place, but, you know, there's always going to be subtle differences. The work in this show has ended up being a conversation between these two places. I look at geology, I look at the way that the land is in comparison to each other, so there's little um, little points of maps and things like that in it. Um, I also look at the light quality, but I also look at the human impact on the land. So I'm interested in how um, knowledge is passed down through generations. Things like one of the pieces in the show is to do with markings on sheep's ears that connects that sheep to a certain croft in Fair Isle. So I'm interested in the imagery and the symbolic value that we put in our knowledge. And islanders tend to have a really deep-rooted uh, interest and understanding of their place. So I'm interested in how that's maybe more of a traditional thing, but how we can move and adapt that to secure our future in islands, because a lot of small remote communities are starting to struggle. And I'm interested in how we can sustain that for the future.